Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll be showing you a free plugin that can replace almost 20 of your plugins that you might be using. It means that this plugin can do tasks of many plugins combined. For example, by using this plugin, you can duplicate pages or posts. You can change the admin URL of your website. You can change the order of dashboard menu. You can also give a custom order to your pages. You can replace media, which is very powerful. You can clean up your WordPress dashboard or the admin bar. Uh, you can turn up notification from the plugins and so on and there are a couple of more features to discover so without wasting your time let's get into it and the plugin i'm talking about is admin insight enhancement and you can learn more about this plugin here on this page you can go to the link in the description which will take you to this page and here you can see its features you can scroll down you can learn more about this plugin and so on now let's see how we can install this plugin and how we can use it here i am in the wordpress dashboard and to install the plugin you can just go to plugins add new and here search for ASE and you will see this plugin admin inside enhancement just install and activate it and you can see it's updated just 12 minutes ago which means that they are updating the plugins regularly let's activate it and once you activate the plugin you can go to plugins and click on configure or you can go to tools and you will see this enhancements just click on it and it will take it to your dashboard here you can see all the options are categorized and these so here you can manage contents admin interface login logout custom codes and so on so i'll cover a few of these options just to show you how this plugin works and then you can explore all the options by installing this plugin and the first option here is content duplication so as the name suggests you can duplicate contents like post and pages by enabling this option before i enable this let me open up post or pages in a new tab just to show you how it works so here under post if i hover over any post you can see we have only these options and we can't duplicate any of these and now if i enable this option save changes and let's open up post again i refresh and now if i hover over here you can see duplicate option so if i click here you can see it duplicated that post and this is under dropped so this is how this option works and in the same way you can duplicate a page the next option is content order so again let's open up pages and here we can order these pages by title or date but if you want a custom order you can enable that option so if i enable it and you can see you can expand this and you can enable this for pages or landing pages then save changes let's go back to pages and now if i refresh you will see a new option here order just click on it and now you can order reorder these pages like this okay and you can bring home on the top if you want to and so on so this is how it work then the next and most powerful option is media replacement if i enable this and save changes then i can open up media and i can replace any of these images by another image for example this website has this logo if i want to change it i will have to upload a new image then i'll go to customize and will change the logo everywhere but by using that plugin i can replace media let me show you i'll go to media i'll open up that logo and then we'll edit more details and then you will see another option here replace media if i click here I'll upload a new logo and then we'll perform replacement and this will replace that logo for me. So in this way you can replace a media by using this plugin. Let's close it. Then we have another option media library infinite scrolling. You can enable this. You can see scrolling in the grid view of the media library useful by scrolling through a large library. Okay. If I have large library and I have number of images then I'll see numbers here which will be taking us to the next page and so on. If you want to hide those numbers and you want to infinite scroll here on the media library you can just enable that option. Then we have SVG upload. If I enable this then I can allow specific user role to upload only SVGs okay. For example I can allow only admin to upload SVGs and I can block any other user okay. Then we have external formal links. If you enable this then you can expand it. You can enable it for post or pages. Let's say for pages, I'll save changes. Now let's go to pages and let's edit any page. And here you can see external formatting. So here you can give it an external formatting and keep it empty if you want to use the default WordPress formatting. Okay. And next up, we have open all external links and new tab. If you enable this option, then all the external links on your website will open up a new tab, which is a good option. So I can enable it. Then I'll save changes. And then we have another option allow custom navigation menu items to open a new tab and this is the same as this one but you can do it for your navigation menu if i enable it then save changes and now if i go to menus under appearance then if i add a custom link here for example i add it to menu now if i open it i can open this link in a new tab by clicking here okay and this is how this option work and by the way this option only work for the custom links but if you want to enable the options for all the pages like these you can do it by using the wolf screen options okay for that you can scroll up open up screen options here you will see link target enable it now you can see open link in new tab for all these items then next up we have the auto publish post with missed schedule 
so if you schedule a post and it miss that date you can auto publish it by triggering this option okay so just enable it and this will auto publish the post for you and that's it these were some options for the content then we have admin interface options so if i expand it you can see clean up admin bar if i open up this website just to show you here on the bar you can see customize comments new edit and edit with elementor and so on if you want to hide any of these options you can just hide those things from this option if i enable it then i can remove the specific options for example i can remove howdy which is this okay click on it and save changes and that howdy gone so this is how this option work next up we have hide admin notices clean up admin pages by moving notices into a separate panel easily accessible via the admin bar so this option can hide admin notices you can enable it and then save changes then you can disable dashboard widgets so if i go to dashboard and here you can see some widgets so commas quick drop and so on if you want to disable them then expand and then you can choose these options and then hide admin bar if you want to hide this admin bar from the live website you can do it by enabling this option then we have wider admin menu give admin menu more room and for better recommendation if you enable this and this is the custom width for this menu okay save changes and this will expand the width a little bit okay you can customize it here and then we have admin menu organizer so as discussed earlier you can reorder these items okay so if i enable it expand i can drag and drop these things like the dashboard then forced media pages if i move pages to the top like this then forced you can notice the options here okay if i save changes this is how it works dashboard pages forced and so on and then we have enhanced list tables, string pages by various post types and taxonomies, media, comments and so on. So you can remove specific columns and elements. Okay, let me show you this quickly. Let's open up pages or posts. Here you can see different options for the tables like other category tags. If you want to hide any of these, you can do it by enabling that option. So if I enable it, then expand it. I can enable and disable these options like show exact column, id column, show id in action and so on. This will be dependent on you that how you want it. Okay then display active plugin first if you enable these options then this will display active plugins first which is help explanatory then we have login logout if i go there here you can change the login url so this is the default one which is wp login if you want to change it you can enable it and expand it and you can write your own url here for example backend login or anything you want okay i'll just leave it as default then this is the site identity on the login page so you can see use the site icon and url to replace the default wordpress logo okay if you see the login page of wallface you will see a default wallface logo that you can change by enabling this option okay and by the way you will have to add your site identity under customizer and then we have login and logout menu so you can add login and logout to any menu by enabling this option okay and redirect after login and redirect after logout so you can also add custom urls to these pages then we have custom codes so here you can add custom css for the admin or for the front end if you enable this option you can expand it you can write your own custom css and here you can insert header and body tags expand you can add code to head tags to body tags and so on by the way for this option you will need separate plugins that you can do it here and then these are some advanced options like custom body classes manage add txt and manage robot txt then you can go to disable components and here you can disable gutenberg editor which is the default wordpress editor you can disable block based widgets and the settings screen menu restore the classic widget setting you will see this option while editing by normal gutenberg editor you can disable comments you can disable rest apis feeds disable all updates completely disable core theme and plugin updates and here you can disable small components to speed up your website if you enable this then expand and then you can disable these options based on your needs then we have security options so here you can see you can limit the login attempts by the way for this you will also need a free plugin so you can do it here by enabling this option expand it and here you can give it a number and you can limit the login attempts then we have optimizations where you can control the image upload so you can resize the newly uploaded images if you enable this expand it then you can give maximum width and height to the new images uploaded okay same goes for the revision control you can expand it and this is the limit of revisions that you can do for a post or for pages okay for example if you edit a post you add something then publish it you can't go back but using this plugin you can add revision controls which will save revisions up to 10 times okay let's disable all of these for now then utilities so under email delivery you can set custom name and email for your emails we have image sizes we have admin roles and this is like opening your website as a visitor okay 
then we have password protection so you can protect your password by enabling this option you can expand it you can set up your password and so on you can enable maintenance mode then expand it you can customize the heading the description this is the background so you can give it a stripe background curves lines or you can use an image or a color so you can notice this for all of these options we need separate plugins like a maintenance mode plugin cmp plugin and so on and then we have this option so you can redirect port of port page to your home page you can display system summary and search engine visibility and so on so these are some options in this plugin you can notice that it can replace some of your plugins and you can explore all these options by installing this free plugin and i hope this video and this plugin will be helpful for you if you want to learn more about wordfis just visit my channel i have lots of videos about wordfis and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next